here at Wonderstruck, the innovation never stops. Really, it never stops. Right, so look what we've done now. We've managed to stop time. So all we need to do is turn on a stream of water, like so, and then switch on our special time stopping equipment and there we go. We have stopped time. Just to prove it's not a trick that we have actually stopped time, here's my hand. So you can see this isn't some kind of animation or still photo or whatever. There's my hand wiggling fingers. And by adjusting the controls slightly, we can alter the flow of time. So here we go, it's going backwards, slowly, slowly, and speeding up. And let's slow it back down again. Until, there we go, we are pretty much stationary. And let's get it going in the opposite direction. Pretty amazing. So have we stopped time? No, not really. It's all just an optical illusion. But it's an optical illusion you can't actually see with your eyes. You have to have a camera involved for it to become apparent. Because what we're doing, we're basically running water from a bucket up here, down a tube, past a speaker, and then into another bucket. There's nothing special about the, the tube that connects the buckets or anything like that, other than the fact it runs in front of a speaker. Now, when you pass a sound through that speaker, you cause the speaker to vibrate, and that in turn vibrates the water and the pipe that it's contained in. Now, if you can get the water to vibrate at exactly the same rate as the frame rate of your camera, it produces the illusion that the water is actually sitting still. It's the same kind of thing you see in the films. Uh, if you've got a wagon wheel or a bicycle wheel or something like that, it appears to be moving forward, then it kind of slows down and then it goes into reverse. Now you can't see that with your eyes. It's an artifact of the interaction between the wheel the actual movement and the frame rate of the camera as well. And that's what we're doing here. We're passing a signal through the speaker from a signal generator at about 30 hertz, so 30 cycles per second, which matches the frame rate of our camera. So 30 times each second, our water tube, our water pipe, gets a little hit from the speaker, which causes the water to come out the end in exactly the same formation. And that's what gets picked up on each frame of the film. So it appears that the water is actually standing still. Pretty smart.